come back with Chef Ricardo back in the kitchen one more time with your dishes guys lovely dishes and amazing dishes drinks food everything you name it and you also can claim it remember Christmas is coming up very soon and we got a lot of recipe for Christmas we start to put out some Christmas tips already and there's more to come enjoy the recipe subscribe the channel and remember to get a copy of my cooking book online from Amazon and it's the best price ever in this world we love you thank you so much bye bye nice and lovely guys today we want to show you can make yourself a nice lovely Christmas punch you know man man always love punch some ladies do love punch and some ladies might say it a little bit too much for me but anyway today we're going to show you how you can make yourself a nice lovely Christmas punch all right first of all we're gonna go into some simple little details that you guys can understand what's going on inside of the kitchen yeah so first thing you got this thing named nutriment in Jamaica they call it you know what they call it in Jamaica supper jam. in England they call it nutriment that's where most people know it as and this one is a vanilla flavor really nice and really good most people when they're making their punch they do use a thing like milk but for me I might go a little bit more relaxed with some nutrients so first of all I'm gonna use my smoothie blender the reason why I'm gonna use my smoothie blender because the smoothie blender do give it a nice simple smooth smoother finer you know what I mean drink so basically I'm gonna use half of this inside of my nutriment right here lovely so I'm using roughly say quarter of it inside of it then next thing you got this thing named Irish marsh Irish marsh original from Jamaica as you can see even Jamaica right on it <laughs> you know what I mean in Jamaica a lot of men do drink Irish marsh all right so Irish mush is really good and strong. You can go to the sea or the sea, you know what I mean, where you get Irish mush and they boil it with the lame seed and everything. Basically, what we're gonna simply do, we're gonna put some also inside of it. It's a Christmas punch. I did a couple of videos before with punch, but sometimes I not put everything inside of it. So now what we're gonna simply do, we're gonna add half of the punch, half of the Irish mush inside of it, guys. Irish mash you can get that at local shop or supermarket um, right here I have some roasted and salt peanut forget about the salt it might said salt but that's fine we are gonna use some roasted peanut inside of it today all right instead of some raw peanut so let's put roughly about About quart of the raw the roasted peanut inside of it right here I have a pack of oats and also we're gonna put some oats inside of it guys the reason why we're gonna use oats is because oats is really good for you we're gonna put, put one pack of oats inside of it also nice and lovely so as you can see exactly where we are about so far I've got some cashew, cashew, roasted cashew right here. This one don't have any salt in it, it's just a roasted cashew. And we're gonna put some also inside of it, lovely. These things, you can get them at the local shop or supermarket. Nice one, probably about a quarter of it. Then we're gonna put some cinnamon. of cinnamon also a pinch of vanilla too much but the next we're gonna put some mixed spice next grated nut egg that's a pinch also too some sweet condensed milk is a must inside of it 
to give it the flavor and the taste of what you're looking for. So we're gonna put some sweet condensed milk. That roughly about four teaspoon teaspoon of sweet condensed milk, guys. Nice one. So as you can see, all of, all of those ingredients which we just add to it, it's gonna do some really fantastic. The next thing we're gonna simply do, we're gonna add some ice cream. It's a must inside of it to give it some flavor and taste. You don't have to put ice cream, but I love my ice cream inside of my punch like this. It gives it a nice, lovely flavor and taste. So, roughly four teaspoons. And I'm using vanilla ice cream. Cover your smoothie blender like this and give it a shake. All right? Give it, just give it a shake like this. To get it free up inside of the blender. Then simple. Blend it for roughly about four to five minutes. All right? much 